Alright, anyway, game one. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Alright, winners finals. Uh, Venia versus Goblin. Goblin already taking on, tacking on a good 60% to Venia's 10. 69%. All sets are best of three on the weekly. We have school and work in the morning. Cannot afford to do best of five. There's too much potential. Time lost. Also means you just got the OD stay on your toes. Better bang it on all cylinders like Venya is right now taking that first stock. Ooh. Sorry, I had to step away. Uh, looking like they went to their second socks here. Uh, Venia with a 2-1 to one percentage lead and able to take out that second sock. Now, only 60 damage is a really good position here to be a stock ahead. And we're already seeing that he's going to start uh, on the verge of lapping him. I like that delay that Goblin did to try and like catch him so he could kill him with the limit cross slash. I'm assuming that that... Would have killed at that point, and like with the whole delay, like that had to have intent. But uh, Venia not going to give my man's any time to breathe. Uh, yeah, taking game one uh, pretty handedly. Like it had a semi-even start, but uh, whew, Venia turned up for that, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm saying that a lot. It's all right. That that that. All right, let's see what happens next. So Venia got rid of. Lilat and Yoshi's and uh, Goblin elected to go to Battlefield. So any time that Yoshi's was left open, Goblin elected to use that as his counterpick. So this is the first time that we're not seeing a Yoshi's counterpick by Goblin. Um, you know, he wanted to take advantage of the small size, but I, I think by him picking Battlefield, he's actually wanted the Triplat. What is this God of War ass song? You know, this is actually kind of suited. This is alright. This is a pretty good song for Winner's Finals. For these two character archetypes. Works out. Alright, so... This time the shoe is definitely on the other foot. Goblin gonna take that first stock, only taking 70 damage. Um, you know, Benny's gonna have to stay like right on him to make sure that he doesn't give him any time to breathe, any any space to build a lead. Ooh, but a slight miscalculation there, gonna take some damage. But 20, not the worst. 50 on the other hand, like not the worst, but like not a good time. Uh, if he's able to get the stock now, he can like quickly reverse that. But Goblin's actually doing a really fantastic job of just like really pushing when he can and not just, not, he's just not overextending like at any point. All right. I really like that that low recovery, really knowing the full vertical range of how he can recover there. He actually, oh, wow, he really like can't move after up B. Okay. So Venia able to even up the stocks with a 90% deficit not the worst but definitely a solid lead for Goblin uh, and definitely Goblin not going to try and let go of that lead under any circumstances tacking on bringing him up to 130 edge guard si situation wow you saw that it, it, the neutral B I don't know what it's called into jab into uh, grab just like covering like literally everything 
All right, things looking kind of spoops, spoopy for Venya here. Uh, Roy can definitely sneeze on him and he'll die. I think the cross slash will work anywhere on the stage. I don't know why I said anything. I, that definitely. Woo! Up B. Almost killing him, but uh, Battlefield being like, I got you, bro. You got, still got a little bit more time left on this, on this stock, on this world. Okay. Venya needs to definitely get some more interactions in instead of like going tit for tat because that's just... You know what? The fact that he's lived at 200, maybe going tit for tat has actually been fine because he's gone into 80%, so now he could die. But uh, Goblin finally gets that kill out. 80 damage uh, is, you know, not bad, but still... Woo! Gonna let Vinny get some of his setups. All right, I, I respect it. Tried to make it, tried to make something happen right away. Um, didn't work out, but it's worth it. Only took six damage for it. How is he only taking so little damage when he's like bursting the flames? Anyway, 150 damage. Ooh, I'm liking this like uh, this aggression by Goblin. He doesn't re he doesn't really care what percentage he's at. He like knows when he can like go for it, uh, go for advantage or not. But uh, gonna get hit caught by that hydro pump and finally gonna die. Uh, now this is pretty even. 60% deficit uh, can really go either way, but it is going in the way of Goblin. Then you're looking for an in, but uh, Goblin just swinging in all the right places, man. Oh, that was a great falling up air. Oh my lord. You saw that he got that, he did the, not jab, that was forward, tilt, I think? And like, it went through him, but like, you saw that Venya kind of like stayed in shield extra long. It is kind of a spooky thing, because he definitely could have died to that forward tilt. So I kind of understand it. Oh, weird. He tried to air dodge into the ledge, but ended up air dodge into teching the ledge. That's not going to, oh, it did, all right. It didn't kill last time, but you know, we out here. All right, so Goblin going to be taking game two. Let's see what he gets rid of. To get rid of FD and Kalos. Those are actually some pretty smart picks uh, against like what Venya usually counterpicks, which, which is FD. But gonna go for the next best thing uh, when the stage is temporarily FD. Uh, there are a lot of different changes here that could work in Goblin's favor. However, you know the fact that like the sides are pretty close to the edge, which is something that like Roy is going to kill you by accident. It it is very likely to happen. Uh, and just like with how cool calm collected goblin is on the ledge like he's ready for those scenarios So this could be a bit of a double-edged sword of a counter pick here uh, But then kind of showing why it is his counter pick <gasps> very nice Almost take them off the side with the the back air, but wasn't done with him just yet Got the hydro pump and then F smash the stock away now only taking 50 damage uh, Venya now has a super solid lead for this game three And, and, norm and sometimes, you know, the first stock can be, like, very deciding. Um, oh, the goblin's going to be like, decide what, fool? All right. Yeah, no, we're definitely taking that. We're oh, that's super unfortunate. That's not how you want to see it go. But, you know, L like, with how hard goblin hits, <laughs> just like that. Uh, you know, he could still be in this. It would be one hell of a comeback. But I, I don't know if Venia, like, the, the following game when Venia loses is, like, so different. Because he just goes so aggro. And, like, you're just, it's just so different from the previous one. Like, you have to kind of throw some of the, some of the data that you threw out uh, that you worked on previously in the set. It just doesn't work, man. All right, the goblin's showing that he's not out, and he ain't no slouch. Oh, all right, really solid uh, control of the ledge right there. Okay, understanding 
understandable retreating back air there. I like that high recovery, but now Venia saw that he's going to do that, so we might see a retaliation uh, in a different style of Hydro Pump to seal that out. But, okay. Ooh. All right, dead even uh, stocks, but remember, uh, Goblin's on his last, and Venia has one to blow, so... Things are not looking so good for Goblin. Uh, then you're going to properly DI by holding in on that up throw. Guys, please hold in on those uh, on up throws. Like Roy, Lucina, Greninja. They all have the same up throw. Just hold in. Ooh! Okay. Oh, God. This is so scary now. Because, like, it, like Venny is winning, but, like, if Roy wants to be like, yo, um, it's actually even, dog. Like, he could. And, like, you see that, like, Goblin has adapted to, like, the, the Hydro Pump edge guards. It's, like, doing these edge, uh, the air dodges. And, like, you see that Vinny's just, like, he's looking for the kill. Like, he's just going for the uh, the forward airs, which, you know, is moderately safe. It's just that Roy is so fast that sometimes he can just, like, you think you are safe, but he's closer to you than, than you expect. Oh my god, he could die to sign me. It's kind of even, sort of. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. I'm so spooked, bro. Alright, so I haven't seen... That's it. That's it. That's it. Wow. Goblin Winterside Grand Finals. Good lord. Hi, right, Florida. We ain't out yet, but damn. <laughs> wow.